Social Security Administration. How may I help you? I, I don't know. I got three voicemails when I got home to call this number about my Social Security number being suspended or something. Well, first of all, sir, can you verify me your first and your last name? Yes, my first name is Moe, M-O-E. And your last name? Lester, L-E-S-T-E-R. How do you spell out your first name? Mo, M-O-E. And your last name? Lester, L-E-S-T-E-R. And your address will be? It's 3830 Godfrey Road, New York, New York. How do you spell out Gatry? Godfrey. G-O-D-F-R-E-Y. And the zip code? 10021. Okay. And you need to verify me the last four digit of your social. Well, it's not mine. It's uh, I represent Mo Lester. It's uh, so who you are. I'm Mo Lester. Uh, but I'm okay. Just... So I am asking your. Yeah, I'm gonna. Get... I'm asking you, Mister. Huh? What? I'm asking you to verify me the last word is it of your social. Yeah, it belongs to Mo Lester. Here it is. Four nine zero five. And don't talk to me on a loudspeaker. I'm not on a loudspeaker. I'm on a Bluetooth. Okay. The reason behind my phone call is to inform you that your social security number has been found for criminal and fraudulent activities in the state of Texas. Are you aware about this situation or have you received any phone call? I don't recognize uh, the state of Texas. Okay. Let me give you this information. This investigation started by the law enforcement agency under your name and under your social security number when they have found out an abandoned car in the south border of Texas where the make and model was Toyota Corolla and the car registration number which is TX2440. Okay. This and car was this has idle on the street. This has to do with me. I don't understand what you're talking about. What part you don't understand? I don't understand what this car has to do with me. As I say you, we found an abandoned car in the south border of Texas and the car registered under your name and under your social security number. Well, it's not my car, for one thing. Maybe somebody has stolen your identity and they find they book a car under your name and under your social security number. I don't know how that could be possible. It is possible, sir. How many people know your social security number and... Uh, None. Uh, have you ever lost? No one. Have you no. ever? No have one. you ever lost? Have you ever? Have you ever lost your wallet or your identity? No. Should I go ahead and give you the information about more? You can if you're not. Yeah, you can. Sure. I mean, go ahead. When the locals reported about this car to the local sheriff department, has done investigation of the car and they found blood and drugs inside that car, which made them totally interlinked to them have found out that the car was rented under your name and under your social security number there are two addresses linked with your name and under your social security number which is 7609 Clement Avenue El Paso Texas 75089 I, the I second don't, address I which don't is, even recognize the state of Texas I don't recognize it so I don't know how I could possibly have anything to do with it the second address, which is 3830 Caudry, New York, New York 10021. So do you know both the addresses? What was the address in New York? That's where I am. That's the one state I recognize is New York. 3830. 3830. Do you know that address? I don't know. What street is it on? Scott Free. C-O-D-F-E-R-Y. That's my street. So you don't know the first address, but you know the second address. It is belongs to you, right, New yeah. York? Yeah, it's mine. Okay. Have you ever lost your? Oh, uh, have do? You, what? Hmm? Did I what? Do you have any properties in the state of Texas? I don't even recognize the state of Texas. No. I only recognize okay, let me the give state you the of New York. I do not recognize let any me other give you state. I do understand, okay? I okay. give you the more information that when we have done further investigation, 
we found out five properties which was rented under your name and under your social security number and it was raided by the Texas State Rangers Division and U.S. Marshal Department. I don't recognize the U.S. Marshals either. And I don't recognize the federal government either. I do accept, sir, so what I, you do ex do? I do you accept your oath of office, but I do not accept the state of Texas or the federal marshals or any entity of the federal government. We have an information to cancel your social security number. Do okay. you recognize that thing? Recognize what thing? That we have an authority to cancel your social security number and whatever you have under your you name and under you, your social security you, number you don't have will any, be frozen you, by the U.S. You don't have any authority over me. I'm a sovereign citizen. We have an authority, as I told you, that your you, name you do and not your have social authority security number over me. I'm a sovereign citizen. I abide by the Articles of Confederation and the 18th Amendment of the U.S. Constitution. So, what you want to willing to do, sir? I don't know what is my remedy. As I told you that before we cancel your social security number, you we need to verify that which is your true information and which is your fake information. Okay. I've given you so my true, I've you given the true information for Mo Lester. Okay. The address which you verify with me 3830, that's your own house or you pay rent. No, that, that, that belongs to a molester, the person. Who are you? I'm molester, the individual. What are you talking about? I don't understand. I, I don't know what you don't understand. I'm one and the same, but I represent molester under the name of molester. Your name is molester, right? Yes. So who you represent? Molester. So Mo you represent yourself? As a settler, I represent Mo Lester, yes. I represent Mo Lester, the individual. How many Mo Lester there? There's just one. I'm one and the same. So I am talking to you. I'm talking about your social security number. So you need to verify yourself. Okay. The address which you verify with me, that's your own house or you pay rent. Now it's owned by Mo Lester. Okay. How many vehicles you have under your name? Vehicles one. May I know the make and model of that? Yeah, it's a 2009 Kia Sorento. How many bank accounts you have under your name? None. Under the name of Mo Lester, there's three. Okay. May I know your bank name? Yes, Titty Bank. Okay. Then after, you told me that you have three bank accounts. Yeah, the first is TD all, Bank, then... They're all with the same bank. I got a savings, I got a CD, and I got a checking, all with TD Bank. What's the balance you have in your checking account? Checking account balance is probably, I don't know, 2500 Okay, and in your saving? Savings is 4000 And in your CD account? CD, that's like 25000 Yeah. Okay, apart from that, do you have any kind of credit card? Yes. How many credit cards you have? One credit card under the name of Mo Lester. It's a Visa. What's the limit on that credit card? 5000 How much you use, how much you spend, and how much the balance left in your credit card? All of it. I pay it every month. I'm asking you what's the balance left in your credit card. The limit is 5000 How much you use? None. I pay it off every month. Okay, so the balance is still available in your credit card. That would you say? Yes. Okay, apart from that, do you have any kind of investment? No. No 401k, 403, any market investment, stocks, bonds? No. And I believe I'm talking to your cell phone, right? Yes. Okay. Could you please hold on so I will forward your information to the state courthouse of Texas and I, as well as... I don't I recognize the state of Texas. I tell you that. I don't I recognize will, the state of uh, Texas. I will be connecting this line to the U.S. Department. The U.S. what department? The 
U.S. Marshal Department, so they will I don't give you the recognize U.S. Will... Marshals either. I don't recognize them. I'm a sovereign citizen of under the Confeder under the Articles of Confederation. I'm a sovereign citizen. Okay, no problem. So they will be give you the information how you can safeguard your information, which is truly yours. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Hello. Yes. Hello. Thank you very much to Holy Line. This is U.S. Marshal Marvin Clark. May I know who am I talking to? Mo Lester. All right. Thank you very much to verify your name. Now, Mr. Lester, write it down my information, then I will help you further. Okay. I already did. Marvin Clark. Yes. And my badge ID, that is 18100. Eight eight. Don't I do not recognize badge numbers. What do you mean by that? You didn't recognize. I don't recognize badge. You didn't numbers. get it. I got it. Okay, I don't recognize it. Okay. What do you mean by that? You didn't recognize. I don't. Where recognize. are you looking? What? Where am I looking? Go ahead. Yes. I I'll go ahead. I got it written down. You know, I don't recognize. No, you saying to me that you didn't rec recognize. What do you mean by didn't recognize? I'm a sovereign. I'm a sovereign. I'm a, I'm a sovereign citizen. I don't recognize badge numbers. So that doesn't mean that I can't work to the U.S. Marshal. Oh, you can have one. Yeah, I just don't recognize it. Okay. So now, what I'm trying to explain to you right now. Okay. First of all, I need to complete my investigation, and in order to complete the investigation, I need to ask you some person and some financial information because I need to complete my ADR first. So in order to complete the ADR, I need to ask you the questions. What's an ADR? So I can record all the ADR stands for Ultimate Dispute of Restitution. Okay. So in order to get ADR, I need to ask you some and a financial question, which you answered it very honestly. Okay? Yeah, go ahead. So here the question is, please tell me that right now house which you're living, it is registered under your name? It's registered under the name of Mo Lester, yes. Okay, apart from this, do you have any another property registered under your name? Under the name of Mo Lester, no. Okay, fine. Please tell me that right now where are you exactly? Where I'm exactly? I'm home. Okay. so. Please also tell me the right the line which you are talking. That the is what? your cell phone or the video. Uh, oh, it's my cell phone. The line which, the line which. Yeah, that's it's, my, your cell it's phone. my it's my cell. It's my okay. cell. It's my cell. All right. Now, what I need to do, I need to forward all this information and the previous information to the federal courthouse. So they going to do the I don't recognize the federal government either. I don't recognize the federal courthouse. You don't need to recognize right now. Because you wanted to resolve the situation outside the courthouse, is that correct? I don't recognize it at all. I, I don't recognize it. I'm a sovereign citizen. Yeah, that's why I'm telling you that you don't need to recognize. Okay. Right now you don't need to recognize federal courthouse because you are ready to resolve the situation outside the courthouse. Is that correct? I don't, I don't have to do it outside because I don't recognize it. I, I don't know what you don't get. Under the Articles of Confederation, I don't recognize the Federal Gold House. Then who do you recognize? I recognize the state of New York where I reside. So that is my point, sir. The crime is not has been done in the New York. I don't recognize Texas. The crime... The yeah, Texas. The other guy told me, but I don't rec... The only state I recognize is New York, the state in which I reside. So you are not understanding the situation, I guess. Or maybe you misunderstand. Now, the crime scene, it has been done in Texas. We find out your yes, information. Yes, but this action was done under Texas. the color of law and the law of Texas. I do not recognize Texas. So that doesn't mean if you're not present at the Texas, then we need to find out that how we find out your information at the crime scene. Well, that's up to Texas to find out, I guess. I don't know. So that's why we are the, so that's why I'm, I'm here. I'm working at the Texas office. 
Okay. So we still we can't Could tell I you to come down to the Texas. I'm not coming to Texas. That's why we decided I, to give up. Yes, I'm not asking you to come to the Texas. I need a I need a presentment of the yes. charging instrument is what I need. A presentment of the charging instrument under the Articles of Confederation. Okay, that is not going to be possible because you are a suspect. And what do you mean suspect, not possible? Then it's you are the law. Suspect. It's the law. Under the Articles of Confederation sir, and the 18th Amendment of the U.S. Oh, Constitution, I sir. I know what is the law is, but if you already know about the law or everything, then you're supposed to end it as well. That if a person is a suspect, that kind of legal procedure the government going to take against that person. But I don't recognize Correct. the federal government, so it doesn't make any difference what they have. This is not a normal state case, sir. This is a federal courthouse case. That's why I do not have to believe... follow the federal courthouse. Okay. I, I, okay. Okay. If you know about everything, the state federal co state government rules and regulation, but state government they have a different rules, and federal courthouse they have a different rules. But I do not recognize the so federal we, courthouse. If you don't recognize, that doesn't matter. The federal courthouse they can't call you, and they can't complete the investigation over the phone. Well, then you have to explain to us. You have to explain to us that how we going, how we find it out your information at the crime scene. Whose information was at the crime scene? Your information at the crime scene. We find out your social security number and your bank information. Well, I don't know how I got to a crime scene in Texas when I don't recognize Texas and have never been to Texas. That's my point. That's what I'm trying to explain to you so far. If you are not, in, if you've never been in a Texas, or if you're not present at the crime scene when it has happened, that doesn't mean that we can't find out the information about against you. I mean to say that right now it's not necessary that when the crime has happened, you have to stay over there. You have, have to, to understand stay where? the situation. The previous person, they didn't tell you where. Couldn't tell me where what? The crime scene. South side of the Texas, south border of the Texas, we find out the abandoned car. Yeah, Toyota Corolla, he told me York. all that. He told me all that. But I don't recognize sir, Texas, so sir, how could I leave a car there? Sir, you know that how the criminals are working? The criminals, yeah. Have you, do, you, they have, do you have any idea that how the criminals are working? No, I don't know how they work. That is my point. So that's why if you do recognize for the Texas or if you don't recognize the Texas, that's a completely different matter. No, it's not a different matter. As a settler, I don't recognize for the it. As an I individual, the as, a, as a private citizen, I don't recognize it. And as the individual molester. You are, you are not understanding what I'm saying to you, sir. It is a matter for the federal courthouse, the federal state tax or... I they don't recognize don't none of them entities. Exactly. I know that, sir. But the, for the criminal, it is a different matter. Criminal, they can I don't do care what the criminal anything. recognizes. They're not going to. And you suppose you have to care because they are using your information for the criminal activity. So I think you need to be care about it. Are you getting my point? They are using your social security number and you're using your bank information for the criminal activity. Okay. So I think you but need to be careful about it. But it's not me, so what does it have to do with me? I, I haven't done anything illegal. Federal courthouse, they're not going to believe on a word. They I, need physical evidence. I do not even, I don't to, recognize the federal courthouse. I don't know why you can't figure that part out. Under the Articles of Confederation, I do not recognize it. If you don't recognize right about the federal courthouse, then they're going to transfer your case to the your local local federal courthouse in New York. Then you can be the recognizer. But that's a completely different matter. I, if it's a federal right now, courthouse in New York, I don't recognize it. If it's a local courthouse in New York, I will recognize a local one, but not a federal one. So that's what I said, sir. That's what I said to you. They're oh. going to transfer this case to your local New York Federal Courthouse. Not local, no, local New York, but not I'm... local federal. I will not. I will not recognize local uh, federal. Uh, I'll recognize uh, local New York. Uh, first, 
we have to complete our investigation right now so we can find out that you're really helping someone for the criminal activity or he is stealing your information. So that everything will be decided. Either federal courthouse they're going to give the order to your local federal local courthouse that they're going to represent yourself in a local courthouse or the well, federal courthouse they're going to decide it. I can represent molester in a local court, yes. So once the case will be transferred, then everything going to be decided. But up to that, right now we have to come to our investigation right over the phone. So we can find out what the truth is. I can tell you what the truth is. I didn't do anything illegal. 